Welcome back to my journey to being a 2000 air. I'm a 2000 air. I'm a 2000. This is not my real portfolio, so if you want to attack it, attack it. This is just something I do for fun, and I still haven't changed it, but I'll be contacting M1 Finance tomorrow. So I started this in November of 2020 of 2019. We've gotten a 50.86% return. So what that indicates is something is extremely screwy with the markets because I have portfolios in here that I straight just used a random number generator to create. Let's look at activity. So looks like we got a dividend from CVI, CVR, International Paper, and the Spider High Dividend ETF. In the S&P 5, Spider, S&P, and a high dividend ETF. So let's look at how some of these portfolios are. It's not, can't do that And when you're dollar cost average. And I don't know why I did that. Let's start with the Bangkok bareback. That's up 27.35%. And that's just the total stock market, small cap, extended duration, and the total bond market. We'll take a look at the Dutch oven. That's up 38.45%. Vanguard total stock market. This is a little play on a Vogel head. But we're going to change this all up. Mr. Hands, lazy two fund approach. I talk about this in every video. If you don't know who Mr. Hands is, type it into the internet and you're welcome. And no, the guy didn't survive. Vanguard total stock market, Vanguard total bond market. The Uniballer, that's the, Uni, that's the Unibomber's um, evil twin, which would make him good. He just balls in universities and airports. So Vanguard total stock market, the Vanguard total bond market, and the Vanguard total international market. 37% return. This is the Dave Ramsey. I was going to change this to Ramsey's wet taint, but it won't let me do anything in there. It's up 55.28%. That is the Vanguard S&P 500 mid cap total world, and small cap ETF. And it is crushing it. And this is personally, when all is said and done, the one that I think it'll do best. My first cream pie. That's up 83.64%. So next time somebody starts talking to you about their mad gains, just... Remember, there's a dude out there that's got an 83.64% return in a year in his portfolio. And I didn't do any work for these. I just went ahead and bought, comp like, I bought companies based on hype and logic. I ran no numbers. I didn't do discounted cash flows. And in all honesty, I would sell a lot of these out of, there, out of here if I could. And... Um, Yeah, I'm just going to keep it though. Bucket of hooker spit. It's up 33.29%. And it's stupid, but I'm just going to keep it in there for a loser portfolio. That'll probably still outperform, <laughs> outperform people that pick stocks. Total stock market up. 39% started it in June of last year. Something screwy with the markets. The side touch. That's a 56.90% return. Vanguard total stock market. I mean, you see how just a few good companies can actually push your portfolio. Well, the total stock market's up by 57%. Probably, damn you, Amazon. 
<laughs> My hobo's left boot. That's up 39.08%. So Vanguard total stock market. It's, not, it's similar to the Bangkok bareback, but... Uh, Twenty forty five moderate, that's crushing it with a thirty three point nine six percent return. Random one night stands. I used I picked a I used a random number generator to pick this portfolio, and it would make me laugh so hard if this was the best performing portfolio. I'm diamond handsing this one. Got some kid telling me I got weak hands because I sold the forty dollars worth of Doge just that I bought as a joke. Beer and hooker money. That's up thirty eight percent. And that's uh just a bunch of high dividend paying crap. It's actually it's honestly a piece of crap, just like the it can in here. I got to get this out of here too because it's got too much stuff in it and I just don't want to do that this way. But anyways, I just deposited money in here. To We're actually over a 2000 there right now with this money I have just sitting by, but I'm going to deposit 60 more dollars in it tomorrow. So we will then be at 2000 there way sooner than I thought we would be. I didn't think we would be here till October of this year. And I will soon to be below a 2000 air right when the market corrects. So thanks for watching and I'm out.